Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, you can see what we will do today. We will talk a little bit over my Jade Summer collection because a lovely color tuber, a person that I really adore, asked me um, if I could do it. If I could show my um, my Jade Summer book collection and yeah, just state what are my favorite books and flip through a little bit, show a few pictures, maybe we are even going to do a little bit of coloring today. And um, the lovely person that asked me to do that is the happy colorist Jay. So um, if you haven't checked her out, I will link her channel in the info box and also in the Ooh, where is it? In the corner here, somewhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, please check her out if you haven't. Let's get started with my, with one of my favorite books by Jade Summer, and this is the Vampires book. And I um, have colored already in this book. And maybe let's just do a little bit of a flip. And um, yeah. For example, this picture is quite interesting. I mean, um, do not look at this part here. This is a little bit too sexy for me, to color at least. But, um, yeah, we have some rain on this picture, the full moon, um, like a cloudy sky and the uh, bats flying from the back there. And um, I think this could be really fun to color and to create some nice effects, some like shiny dagger down here and um, yeah then this one is one of my uh, other favorite pictures in this book because I can already see those um, banners in a wine red color and maybe a sunset coming through the window and um, yeah just do a quick little flip um, also this one we, we got a nice variation in this book like outside scenes and yeah a lot of outside scenes but also yeah like in a castle or something like that oh here comes one that I've colored so this one is colored and yeah used my polychromos on here and a marker base and I have to say that I um, I'm quite satisf satisfied with the um, result of the colors. You know, this is of course Create Space paper. It is Amazon printed, uh, Amazon fulfilled, so um, it is quite thin paper. But um, here they are dancing, and then we have the chandelier in the background, so we could do some uh, light, um, yeah, practicing on some light effects, some glowing effects. This is another one of my favorites. I'm also wanting to do like the glowing effects on of the oh, of those candles and then giving her maybe a, a violet dress or red dress and dark hair and um, yeah and here we can practice some glass with wine and also candles. Very nice pictures in here. This is the second one that I have already colored, so we also have some uh, more close-up faces in here to practice our faces a little bit. And I really like um, the symmetry of those faces, so I basically really enjoyed coloring this page here. And you can see um, yeah, the result of the pencil is quite nice, even though that it is creates base paper so we still can do or we can achieve um, great results and I think this was the first page yep yeah. uh, so this was in vampires book one of my favorite books by Jade Summer and then there is also a vampires 2 book uh, but this one I just have as a digital copy but I have a few pages printed that I basically wanted to do last Halloween because I think those uh, images are quite appropriate, oh, quite um, good for like this time of year because we can do those atmospheric um, uh, pictures with these candle lights and everything that I really like. 
you wanted to practice on some Strasmo toned paper, the grey one. And then this one is also quite interesting with this clock in the background. Really uh, interesting. But I have to say that I don't like this second volume as much as the first volume because um, the quality of the images is kind of like not as good as in the first volume. At least for my taste. Especially when I saw the title page of the second volume, which I will blend in. Um, the title page was colored digitally and um, so you would expect to find this picture in this book. And it is in the book, but it looks completely different. And it looks kind of off, the proportions and everything. So uh, I really love the digital colored and adjusted um, page, but the actual line art, the original line art, is not very attractive. So that was a disappointment, I have to say, because I didn't watch the flip through before I bought it. Then I've got those two books by Jade Summer, and I still have marked a few um, pages in here. Haven't colored anything in this one yet. This is the older mermaids one in which um, the pictures are um, drawn a little bit more for grown-ups so with strong arguments so to say and, um, and this is the fairies one uh, which I also quite love actually we have all our lovely fairies in here it's kind of cute as you can see really adorable pictures in here. This one was colored by V and she did an amazing version of it. And yeah, we have kind of a variety in this book. But I have to say that I don't have a lot of favorites in this book. This one is quite cute, I think. And this one is quite funny with this uh, big drang eye. Um, yeah, this one I really like. This one is one of one of my favorites, so I could think of um, covering this one. But as I basically, and this one is really cute as well, have colored already a picture in this book. And a target of mine was to get started in all of my Jade Summer books this year. This is from the title page. This is also a very nice picture. And the one that I colored is hiding. Is It was this one. And I also wanted to practice on my face coloring in here. And uh, yeah, this face is also, I think, quite symmetrical. So really lovely. And I really like the... Uh, Ah, uh, just what I want to say, I, I adjusted her nose in this um, coloring because I didn't... Um, yeah, it was too small for my taste. It didn't look very realistic. I mean, the whole page doesn't look realistic, but the original nose was just too small for my taste. So I adjusted it a little bit, made it a little bit wider. So that was the fairies book. And then we've got the Mermaid's book from the summer. And as I said, this is not so much the, uh, the cute style. So look at this picture. I really love this picture because it's really detailed and tells a story. And yeah, really fun. So the, um, the images, the ideas of the images really is nice. I also could imagine to color this one with a lovely sunset in the background and with those lovely uh, hummingbirds and um, yeah I think that could come out awesome. Then this one is also a really fun picture. Um, we've got like the boat um, on the top and then, yeah, they are like playing together, the mermaid and the dolphin. So it is kind of cute. 
but the drawing oh this one is another one of my favorites because this one is really cute I have to say but uh, the uh, drawing style isn't like anime like I would say it's more like a comic style or something or like yeah don't know this one is also quite beautiful with the palm tree and those waves down here hmm I should get started with this book I really think those pictures are quite nice in here and we have quite some variety in here too this one I also like a lot there's really a lot on this page yeah and this one is the one from the title page so then they have a light fantasy book and a dark fantasy the dark fantasy I have as a digital version I will blend in the um, the title page, um, but I have printed a few pages which I wanted to color last Halloween, but haven't had the time in the end. Oh, this is another book. I will show you in a minute. So only two pictures here. Um, yeah, in the dark fantasy there were. Yeah, it's difficult to describe. Not. Um, completely my taste but there were included a few pages that I really liked like uh, which I really liked like this one because um, this one I think I could do very atmospheric with some um, like bluish colors like coming um, bluish um, I need a pencil <laughs> Wait. You know, you could do like coming blue light through the window, the moonlight, you know, with blue shades everywhere. And then we have some candles up there and there and there we could do warm light. So we would have, yeah, um, cold against warm light and that, I suppose, should look really amazing. So that is the reason why I've printed this one on drawing paper, because drawing paper is going to take quite a few layers so uh, I'm really wanting to start this one because in my imagination this one looks fantastic when it will be finished but I think it will be a lot of work to achieve this effect because I I would need to do it the complete page with pencil of course so no other mediums uh, and yeah this one so the dark fantasy basically don't has as many pictures as I like um, but the light fantasy has more pages that I like yeah I'm more maybe a light person <laughs> so let's just give it a quick flip this one is nice we see a sea dragon or um, yeah the word is not coming <laughs> a couple oh this one this one is one of my favorites I really like this turtle with this city on his back um, I think this one would look amazing when colored the group and then another one of my favorites is with those little dragons here with those dragon babies and those gold coins we've got some what is this crystals yeah, I think those are like crystals. We've got a crown. Yeah, this one will be awesome as well. I think I'll, yeah, I would love to start coloring so many pictures you can't imagine. Or maybe you can because you are colorist as well. <laughs> Another one of my favorites is, um, I think it is a phoenix. It looks awesome. This one I saw colored by Lavalia's coloring. So, check that out if you want to see it. And I think... No, not sure. V has colored also already in this... Yeah, this one was colored by V. I can't remember if she finished it. Yeah, I think she finished it and she tried out a new skin combo on this guy. 
look lovely and this one is also another one of my favorites so this one I really want to start because we basically ow and the paper is sharp so take care that you don't cut yourself while presenting a book so this is another one of my favorites um, look at it it has quite a lot of detail like this ship in the background like this uh, medallion in the foreground in the sand um, I really love this picture yeah this is one of my uh, favorites definitely and we got a quite a great oh sorry a great variety in this book this one also very beautiful with this unicorn and this one is the one from the title page um, another book that I only own digitally is the Greek mythology and the special about this book is that we get those pages uh, a, a little bit differently on the first set of pages the name of the goddess or of the god is written down in the corner down here and then we've got a set without those names First the color, I've printed the ones without the name. Uh, so I can't tell you now which goddess this is. But yeah, just showing you a few of those pictures that I've printed. So of course I printed my favorite ones. Of course in the uh, Greek mythology there are a lot of gods, so a lot of old men to call it you. Uh, which is kind of something different from time to time. You know, not only, not always the uh, beautiful women, but yeah, some men and some old men as well. And we've got a Zabaros in there, and yeah, really nice uh, variety for just coloring something different. So, the next two books, whoops, the next two books that I have is the Country Cabins book, which is quite new. I showed it in my last haul, or one of my last hauls at least. And the Country Farm book is, um, I wouldn't say it's old, but it's not new either. So let's take a look in the um, Country Farm. And yeah, I really um, love that we get all those variations in Jade Summer books. We've got like those camping scenes and this is one of my favorites because I love squirrels. I love them to pieces, really. Just watched the doc documentation yesterday about uh, the little superheroes with bees here. And, and this one is, they are so um, close to reality. I actually took a picture of such a scene where um, this little, I don't know the English name, is like, um, yeah, eating from the tree. <laughs> My English is really pure sometimes. Then this one is also very nice. So we have uh, pictures with more details, but then close-ups as well. Then those are uh, really cute pics here. I really love this book. I mean, you have to be in the mood for coloring something like that, of course. But I really love about the Jade Summer books that we have all those different um, topics. This one is also very beautiful with the rooster and the sunflowers. Really like it. And this one is cute. So that is the reason why I want to get started in every, um, and we always, or not always, but most of the time we also have some sample images from other books. There was some time last year when we got those really nice index. So all the pictures were included in small and I really like this layout, but unfortunately they have already stopped with this kind of index. Which I think is really sad, because, let me check, it is not in here, right? Yeah, this one is quite new. One of her new publications. It is uh, from 2019 and it don't have this index anymore. 
and that's that is really sad because I really love the index. This one is the the country cabins, and in this book we've got like landscape pictures, and we've got like uh, like um, from the interiors, which I really also love. I'm I love so many pictures, actually almost all. Um, of course, my favorites are people. The color, I don't know why. Yeah, just people. But I also love like, yeah, the cabins, the houses, like um, like landscapes, or like the inside of a house to make it like cozy. And I really love this picture with um, this is a, Sch a Schultz um, room. And um, we've got this nice flower and those puppet and it's, yeah, really beautiful. Then this one, I could be really cozy as well. Like a tree house, very nice. So, and then this one I also love very much. So this one I also very uh, love because it's really cozy like those um, chairs here, don't know how you call them. And then this really great um, view and he is drawing, oh, or he is painting, he's a painter. So very, very nice. Yeah, and then we also have some seasonal picture in here with like snow and a snowman. And then with a Christmas tree and this little like fire place here and really cozy, yeah, really lovely pictures in the Country Cabins book. So now, so now we're basically coming to the cute books, like uh, this one is a cute fairies book which I own digitally, so I don't have a physical copy of it. It was when it was still possible to buy um, digital copies only. And I've colored this picture um, twice with different um, color schemes because, you yeah, know, it was just so much fun, I have to say. So, that is just an example. And then I've printed a few pictures at least. Maybe I'll be able to blend a few in. This one I like because we have some guys included. And then we've got like these really cute, really cute images. Then this is one of my absolute favorites. This one is kind of more of a new publication. It came out, I would say, in the last quarter or in the second half of last year at least. It is also a mermaid book. We also have got some sample images here. Um, yeah, sample images included. And then in this book I have to say that I basically like all the pictures. There is not not one picture that I don't like, that I don't adore. I I love them all. Really? Um, uh, stupid of them to print it there. Yeah, and I love them all because those pictures are really... Um, yeah, the drawing style. I love the drawing style of those images. I don't know who is the uh, person who drawn those pictures, but... His style, the books that he draws, are my absolute favorites. This one also one of my favorites. This one, this one was painted by, uh, or was colored by V. Looked awesome. This one is so cute. Like she's in, like in the zoo, uh, and the girl is. Uh, yeah, like watching her and she's saying hello. I just love this picture. So cute. We've got some close-ups of faces to practice faces. This one is also very beautiful. I think this one was also colored by V. 
I think we have done quite a lot already. And this one is the one from the title page, another favorite of mine. And I think that I might start, this might be the picture uh, with which I'm going to start this book. And yeah, then it's starting from the beginning. So then, another one of my favorites. I Maybe this was the same person who drew this book because I really um, like this drawing style really a lot. And we have something special about this book because we get two copies of the images, which is not uh, unusual. We always get two copies in Jade Summer books, but um, a little bit better. So, like in her face, you can see they don't have a nose, the eyes, they are also a little bit wider and the mouth is simplified. So then the second version, they have more like a nose here, you see? The mouth is also a little bit more detailed and the eyes are normally just a tiny little bit smaller. So the face features are different. Let me show you another one, another example. Let's do it on this page. So. You can see very simple mouse, only a stroke for the nose, and big rounded eyes. And then look here, we look at the mouse. Yeah, the difference of the mouse. Yeah, can you see? Then she got a nose, and the eyes are also just a tiny little bit different. So you zoom out a little bit again. And I can't say which version I like better, but I think the ones with the noses are my favorites. And look at this picture. Isn't that cute in this, uh, like, with the Maya temple, I think, in the jungle, and uh, chameleons, the plants. What is this? This is really, really a fun page. Oh, I just see this one would have been nice for Easter. We've got some Easter eggs in here, some like pralinas. Then, yeah. And we have a really great variety in this book, which I also really love. This one is another one of my favorites because, because I really like this background. So, of course, I like this little girl. This is quite nice, but I also love the background, like with the full moon. This, um, looks like a little bit like a cemetery um, fence and then this tree yeah, and then we've got this little girl in the front so really nice background on Jade Summer pictures um, by the way in Jade Summer pictures often we need to color the complete picture so they say so there is not so much um, space in the uh, background, but they actually have a background, which I really love about Jade Summer books. Or at least uh, of those books that I have here. This one is another one of my favorites because I really like Asian style pictures and this, um, yeah, this temple or what it is, um, with a waterfall in the background and her kimono. kimono. This reminds me a little bit of the um, cute fairies, I have to say. And then let's go a little bit quicker so that we don't take forever here. I mean, you can basically find those pictures on jadesummer.com. Uh, this one is another one of my favorites because I love witches. And this one is so much fun as well. A happy couple. I love pirates. And another Chinese girl in here. Lovely. So the pictures in this book really are outstandingly beautiful, I think, with a great variety. Here we've got some sweets to color and yeah, some summer fun. And I think that it is all. So very so a book that I would recommend and another one of my favorites is the cute witches. So you can see I love everything cute. 
everything cute, everything anime style. <laughs> so this one, I mean look at this picture. I love this picture. Another one that I love. This one also very funny. I have to say that I like Halloween pictures. This one could be done with great effects, I think, with those ghost effects and candle lights. And I think I have seen a great uh, colored picture on the Jade Summer Facebook page. Oh, this is okay. This one is fun. Yeah, bigger face to call it. This one is so funny. I really love uh, how they are running from this um, evil pumpkin. And then this one is quite beautiful. And we also could do a lot of nice effects like you see on this, like with magic, with a glow around it and those um, crystals here. Hmm, crystals. I just call it a few crystals. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. This one was colored by Bucknester. What is the complete name? Something with Bucknester, and she did an amazing version of it. I really loved how she colored it. This one is one of my favorites with all those details. It will take a lot of time. Look at this one. So cute with those little kitty ones. Another one that I love. So basically, I love. Again, actually every picture in this book, I love this one, I started coloring. I will show it to you if I find it. And we've got a great variety in this book as well. So every picture looks different. This one I've seen colored as well, very beautifully. And this one is also one of my favorites because the pumpkin soup recipe Look at her little tongue there, and I love coloring pumpkins. <laughs> There's this little kitty cat. She's maybe a little bit anxious if she might <laughs> get into the soup. Who knows? Yeah, this one also very beautiful. I mean, I love all the pictures in this book. So this one is this one I love also. You see, I repeat myself because I love all of those pictures. And this one, I, this one I have started coloring as well, but on a printed, um, on a printed, um, I printed it out from the digital version. Let me just grab it shortly. And I haven't done a whole lot on here. Basically, I just, um, yeah, finished the hair. Um, the hair is quite detailed, it's, it's finished and everything else I only have the marker base and the reason why I printed it was because I printed it on my marker paper um, because at that time I really loved this paper also with pencils and then let me just quickly show you the other picture that I have started which I really need to continue it's it's here. So this one I've started because, yeah, I mean, how do you choose a picture from a book in which you love every picture? And then Max. Now, no, we are zoomed in a little bit too much. Now we are coming to the Kawaii books and to the Shibi books as well. So let's start with the Kawaii Girls. This one is one of my older books. So, which I possess for quite a long time, and I just realized that this is kind of a bit a little bit um, similar to the to the cute fairies one. I think this one is really beautiful. Wow! Haven't looked through this book for quite some time. Have to say, this one I don't like so much. This one is cute. Was a little doggy. Oops. No, this one is okay. Also quite quite cute one. Yeah, we've got like the kawaii style, so basically it's also anime, anime style I would say. A cute style. This is really cute. This one of colored. So we need to find my colored picture. 
Yeah, and you can see the style is quite similar in this book. So we don't have a huge variety in this book, but yeah, this one I love. This one looks really cute, have to say. Really, really cute. Then the Asian style again. Mermaid. Yeah, basically we have variety. <laughs> And yeah, this one, and this one is the one from the title page, and I've colored this one, but I finished coloring this one on the 25th, 25th of February in of last year, and yeah, oh man, I really have progressed since then, oh my. <laughs> Then this one is the um, quite new release of Kawaii Fantasy, so second part, so to say, and I do like the second part a little, little bit more, because I think it has a little bit more variety maybe, or the ideas of the pictures may be a little bit more interesting. I mean, okay, those um, they are like creatures. A little bit like creatures in here, not all, but a few. Yeah, yeah, I like them both. I just saw how somebody colored this one with those really nice water effect hair, that looks really interesting. This one I really love to color with this little sieve on the yeah on the roof of the houses that looks really interesting Oop. and this one I started coloring is this no this is not that one yeah another mermaid in here this one is also very beautiful this one I adore as well, and this one is from the title page. And then this one I've started coloring. I did a marker base and then started a little bit with the shading. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like what I did so much, but maybe I will like it when I'm finished it. We will see. But I have stopped coloring for the moment because I have so many other projects at the moment. So this one is from Shibi Girls Haro, and I really love the Shibi Girls Haro. Um, the girls don't have noses, as you can see, no nose, but still I really love those pictures. I mean, look at that. And I printed those for last Halloween. So I think we can color them, I mean, this one I would only color on Halloween because of the pumpkin, but I think... Um, those pictures are just fun and to be done uh, very colorful. This one is also very nice. I, I really wanted to get into um, like candle coloring. That's why I printed all of those pictures with those um, candles to make some light effects and um, practice that. Then here we've got another cute witch, a shibi witch. Really love this picture. I've printed it on my Strasma toned grey paper. And then this one is the Shibi Girls Volume 2. I don't have the Shibi Girls Volume 1 yet. Uh, the difference between the Volume 2 and the Volume 1 is that in Volume 2 they don't have noses, while in the first book of the Shibi Girls they have like small noses. But um, this one's really cute. This one I like as well. But good thing about it, if you don't like to like color noses, you don't have to because they don't have noses. So that's really good. Look at this part down here. Really nice. And um, yeah, sometimes in the Jet Summer books there are. I mean, look at those eyes. They look a little bit off to me because this one is smaller than this one. So if I would color this, I think I would adjust the eye a little bit. 
but other than that I really love this picture and this one I think is also very funny just relaxing in the jungle with this bed and some candles and yeah really relaxing and another like Chinese one so to say a ninja maybe yeah very cute as well and now we are almost through and we are almost getting to an end and um, only three more to go and I will start with the red riding hood there was this was uh, like they did it a second time there was a red riding hood book already and then they uh, redone it I think they have improved the pictures a little bit and this is basically um, telling the story of Red Riding Hood. This one is one of my favorites. Very cute. Um, this one also very attractive to me. This one I love. This reminds me a little bit of the picture of the light fantasy. Yeah. So in every picture we have the little red Riding Hood, that's it, Red Riding Hood. Then I've got the wonderful Christmas book and um, this one was published last Christmas and um, this is a more realistic style in this book. So not so whimsical, not so cute, but the ideas of this picture, I mean look at that, there is this um, guns. Yeah, you know, there is this big bird in the oven and then we've got those cats sitting in front of it. I really, I mean, see, I really love this picture. It's really fantastic. He is getting like a pullover, not looking not very happy about it. Yeah, those are just so uh, like, yeah, giving the sense of Christmas, the spirit of Christmas back, like joy and happiness and peace. Uh, so I really love this Christmas coloring book. He's writing his list for Santa. Oh, we've got some food to color here. Santa Claus. This one is cute as well, isn't it? And yeah, going shopping or yeah, and that's a wonderful Christmas, really lovely book. And then the last one that I have to share is the delicious food, which I got just recently, but it's not a new book. It was out there for quite some while, but I just got it recently because. Oh, wait, let me just jump over to the more to the middle so I don't um, will have the code next to it again and then I oversee it and then oh, that wouldn't be good so I just wanted to get into um, food coloring I think this one we might start today a little bit then look at this ice cream cup really love it with the strawberries the cherries and this big cup of ice cream then the fruit plate, love as well, spaghetti, a picnic outside. This one is from the title page, I think. Yes. And I basically uh, could imagine to color all of those pictures. We can practice our cupcakes in here. Ah, uh, cookies. Very nice as well. Mm. Yeah, this one I might not color, but this one is okay. This one I also like. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Delicious. The donuts. We can practice our donuts if we have the Helen Allison book, Volume 1, Special Effects, Volume 1. We can practice our donuts in this book. And this one also, one of my favorites, with everything 
that is on this picture with waffles and ice cream and fruit and cookies. Everything is on there. Popcorn, a pizza, and a hamburger. Oh, and a nice um, cake, a really nice cake. Yeah, and here's the picture again that I would like to start to color with you so that we can color a little bit in Jade's summer book. Let me just prepare myself and then we get started. <laughs> 